Welcome to the island of Polku, a quaint and cozy town adorned with natural and beautiful ivory accents. This island is by Boo, who I will make sure to credit in the description box below. And as per usual, please go and give them some love. This island is truly so sophisticated and serene. It's definitely one that celebrates the harmony of nature and thoughtful design. It creates such a peaceful and welcoming atmosphere. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. We are so close to hitting 100 100,000 subscribers here. It is so wild to me. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this tour and I will see y'all at the airport. And here we are on this beautiful, beautiful morning. If I had to guess, this island I believe is set around 6 a.m. as the sun is just now rising. It's just so pretty. Love this tree as a flag too. <laughs> I love the simplicity in it, which I think you guys are gonna see a lot of those themes kind of throughout this tour. But let's go ahead, let's check out this map and sweet villager lineup. Oh my goodness, so many cuties. And we do have two resident reps here, Boo and Poo, <laughs> love it. Then for villagers, we've got Sherb, Freckles, Chevre, Shep, Melba, Daisy, E, Silvana, Hamlet, and Huck. Here is also the dream address on the screen. If you want to pause the video, grab your Switch, tour along with me, all that good stuff. But of course, everything will be in the description box if you want to check all of that out at a later time. And shall we go ahead and dive into this very tranquil, serene, beautiful tour? I love, love, love this home right here at the airport entrance. I feel like this is always a rarity and such a treat to see. Oh my gosh, look at Huck in the background. <laughs> Whenever we do have a villager home or some kind of island amenity right at the airport entrance, I just think it's very uncommon, but so pretty. And here it's so well done too. Oop, there we go. Because of all of the ivory accents, really tying everything together immediately. It's just lovely. And I am so intrigued just to check out the left side of the island first, partially because the home is here. And I love the simplicity of this villager yard. We have a stack of newspapers that they're waiting to be delivered. We have a car out here up front. And then a nice little park bench. I just think that is so sweet. So simple and beautiful. And a little patio over this way. Oh, how precious. And here we have just a little seating area, complete the happy home paradise planter. <laughs> I am in love with this island already for a few reasons. I'm a sucker for any kind of themed island in terms of a color scheme. Like obviously this island is very natural. It's very simplistic, very peaceful, but tons of whites and ivories really bring everything together, creates that cohesion, which I love. It's just so pretty. And here a little beachfront access. The beaches are kept very simple. It appears just with a few weeds, a few flowers. Again, totally adding and complementing just the minimalistic feel of this island. A double bridge moment. And might I just say, this is a double bridge moment that is also relatively uncommon because sometimes when we see double bridges and things to be terraformed in a way similar to this, we usually see the same bridge repeated twice. But here we have two different ridge aesthetics we have one that is not only an arch but in stone and then we have this flat wooden bridge right here and they look quite nice together too i gotta say a little bit more beach access this way oh what's over here cute oh i love this little line in the sand <gasps> Oh, that is so nice. And then here we can sit and wait for Catton to come. <laughs> oh, that is so pretty. Again, what a great example of how effective simplicity can be. Right here, we have a few storefronts, we have a matching furniture set, and then a few decorative items surrounding it, but what a great little area on the beach. And a fountain. All right, let's go up this incline. Love the signage pointing us exactly where to go as well. Always helpful. 
And this looks like it might be a viewpoint of sorts, since we do have this gorgeous stool to sit on. Oh, how pretty. Let me get a little wide angle view here. Absolutely beautiful. I feel like serenity is definitely the theme of this island, or at least it is for me. Very peaceful, very tranquil, very, very beautiful all around. And too, might I point out, I love how natural this river feels. I'm not sure if part of this is like the in-game map, the way that the, blah, 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 the way that the river kind of wraps around over there. But whether or not it is, it, it's really, really beautiful. It feels very natural. And here we have another villager home. Ooh, I love the way this exterior looks. Let me look and see whose home is this. Bee's house. Well, it was decorated so beautifully on the outside. And I gotta say, one of my bones to pick with Animal Crossing is the fact that we cannot change these curtains in villager homes. See how Bee has like these green curtains. I wish we could customize the color of those, but those look so good even with the exterior that was customized there. But it would be nice to be able to change the curl the color of curtains. <laughs> oh my goodness. I either need more caffeine or something today. I'm struggling with my words. But I wish we could change the color of our villagers' drapery. That would be quite nice. Oh, and here it looks like this takes us to the museum. <gasps> oh my gosh, gorgeous. And by museum, I really mean Blather's tent, but look at this view. Oh yeah, this is so well made, so pretty. Again, the perfect amount of design mixed with minimalism. This is so nice. It is also very interesting for us to go from those like cobblestone type of paths this way. Now down here, to some dirt pathing. Oh, it looks so great. And we have another bridge over this way. See what I mean? Just like how natural all of this feels. I absolutely love it. And it looks like a little seating area is back in this corner. Oh, I love the boats up there just to give everything a little bit of height and detail. Oh, and here is the campsite. Oh my goodness, look how nice this is. And it's beachfront too, which is so special. Oh yeah, I love the color coordination happening, happening here. We have a couple of bottles. We have a, a nice little area to lay out by the beach over this way. It feels like a resort. This whole area feels much more like a resort than a campsite, and I love that. And let's say hi to our friend back here. Hello. <laughs> I love those like octagonal glasses. So pretty. This is really great inspiration too, just if you do enjoy more simplistic beaches, not too much clutter. They're just decorated so elegantly. And back to the museum. Oh, I love it. I really wish we had some of these items like that table with the bugs underneath, you know, just all of like the shovel even. <laughs> all of those items would be so nice to be able to use. We got a little shed over this way. Easy access for decorating. Oh, and look back here. Hi, Hamlet. <laughs> Looks like we have a little plant shop. So, so good. I absolutely love this, like these little starter plants and seedlings on this cart. That looks great. And then up this way. Oh, this is the main home. 
Oh, it's so pretty. I don't know why, but I was not expecting yellow. And as I'm sure you guys can assume, we're not going in any interiors on this one, but if you do dream of this island, feel free to go inside them yourself. This is so pretty. I love that it's up against this back cliff. We have a little bit of fencing behind it as well. One of my favorite things to just make a mental note of as I tour these islands is how people decorate the back cliff because I find it to be oddly challenging <laughs> for me. I find it very difficult. But I love here we have just like a little picnic station. Definitely simplicity is key on this one. And here are those boats that we saw earlier. I love it. A little bit more storage in case you want to decorate. Yeah, this island's so pretty. I love how open it feels. It's not cluttered. The colors are beautiful. It's so fresh and clean. Honestly, perfect for springtime. Now that we are officially in springtime, it's not like a meadow core or spring core island, but definitely feels so refreshing. Okay, hold on. This is genius. Let me get out my camera here. I love this concept. This is so clever. Of course, we are at the secret beach right here which is not only a great spot for the resident rep to come and sneak away, but we have this huge boardwalk complete with some surfboards, a little area to freshen up after you come out of the ocean. This is genius and very, very practical and realistic if you were to live on an island like this. Wow, I absolutely love that. How cute. We'll go back through this plant shop and go to the right. And it looks like we're coming up on a store. Yeah, April Sisters. I had a feeling after I saw this sewing kit right here. <laughs> this is super cute. This is the tiny library turned backwards. I love that. It almost looks like a little makeshift, you know, mailbox maybe. How precious. Oh, this is done so well. I will always kind of be frustrated <laughs> that we can't change the color of our exteriors uh, for the amenities, like Able Sisters, Nook's Cranny. But what a great showcase here on how you can very much use your color scheme of your island, like we have whites and ivories in this use case, and really make it complement the existing features of Able Sisters or of Nook's Cranny. You know, we have several white and ivory items surrounding it. We have the storefront up against the side, and it really makes it work. Even this rug brings in a lot of the lighter colors. The sign helps immensely, too. I love that. Wait, and this is kind of perfect. I know I was just talking about how the curtains on these villager homes are kind of frustrating because they can't be customized, but here, it kind of works perfectly because Able Sisters is red, these curtains are red, the roof of this house is green. Same with Able Sisters, it kind of intentionally ties everything back together. Genius. Oh, and here we have a little park. Oh my gosh, how cute. Wonderful example on filling up some, some space. I love that. A little bit of volleyball action, we got a bike, we got some Zebras, <laughs> springy zebra ride-ons, <laughs> cute. And then back here, it looks like we have a little community area of sorts. Oh, a place to paint, I love that. The, here's another great example on how to decorate your back cliff just with a whole bunch of the storefronts, especially if you do wanna block any kind of view like the ocean view or Whatever else may be back there. You can definitely do that. Oh, and the other house. Oh, how sweet. There is something so special about these starter villager homes or villager homes, resident rep homes. They're just so cute and quaint. Oh, I love it. And they have their own little 
fountain over this way. Did you know you can sit here? Boom. I remember when I found that out. My mind exploded. Only on this fountain, though. Not on the others, but on that little part of the fountain. You can sit down. Our other friend! Hello! <laughs> what a cute outfit. Super, super cute. And here we have a gorgeous wheat field. <gasps> oh, how pretty! Just a nice little wheat field to run through. Again, with the simplistic beaches. Like, this is gorgeous. So pretty. And just run off into the sunset. Well, I guess in this case it is sunrise, not sunset. You guys know what I mean. Is this? Oh, it is. Oh my goodness, this is the peninsula. I did not even know that's where we were. How creative, just turning your peninsula into this gorgeous wheat field. Also, it looks like it's an intentional separation between two parts of the island, which I really like. Another quaint villager home. See, these curtains are perfect. The ivory curtains on this home are perfect. Why can't we change them all around, you know? I wonder if they just forgot. I think if they forgot that was a thing whenever they were developing <laughs> us being able to customize our villager homes. So cute. Another little park spot. Oh, I love that we have some sugar out here in front of whoever lives here. Who lives here? Hamlet! And again, these curtains are perfect too. Like the light brown, those look amazing. Now I'm just gonna be looking at everyone's curtains. <laughs> oh, hi Chevre. I'll tell Nan you say hi. Yeah, see, and then these are blue. It's so frustrating. But this is so cute. The way that this whole neighborhood flows is absolutely brilliant. We have this stunning, stunning beach, again, with perfect areas to lounge, do some sunbathing, do some reading. Yeah, this little neighborhood layout is absolutely adorable. I love it. And I love how each little villager yard has something special and unique, but they're not overwhelming. They're not overcrowded. What a great, great area. Let me go up this way. Oh, cute, we have a little pumpkin farm. Just a little area for some produce, it looks like. Another villager living up this way. So precious, who lives here? Silvana! Oh, I do love Silvana. She was on my first island. Whoa, ooh, this pathing is so neat. Oh, well, hello again. Yeah, these villager homes and the way that everything like really flows through this whole right side is really lovely. And there is resident services. I'll show you guys back this way. Of course, if you dream of this island, this is where you will be where you'll be waking up. Let's see if I go this way. Oh, cute! I didn't even see this. Looks like we have a little classroom of sorts. Love, love that. How sweet. And then I'll show you how to get to the airport. You simply turn left, but I want to check it out up here. <laughs> See this little park? I like how many miniature parks there are on this island. Like there are several little ones, which I think is super cute. And here we go, back at the airport. So now I want to go this way. It looks like over here we have an adorable bakery. This is so precious. Absolutely beautiful between the custom code that's used, 
on the stalls, and then we have all these items that match. It's just really lovely. Again, serenity. It's very peaceful. And here we have a home up here. Cute. Oh wait, we've seen this one, because this is where I pointed out the curtains. Aha. Well, in that case, I think I'm gonna run, wait, is that Nook's Cranny down there? Ah, <gasps> it is. It is. Okay, I'm gonna do a little zoom in because I wanna go a different direction than we went earlier because we went through the museum, AKA Blather's tent, and we saw Able Sisters. We went up that way. But we did not go down here, did we? I don't think we did. Because look at these homes and the cute little pretzels to snack on. That is adorable. I also want to point out every incline has been a different incline too. We've had some wooden ones. We've had some natural stone ones. So adorable. So we have another little cafe area back this way, which is so sweet. Again, with its like dedicated seating area. And then this path is gonna take us around to, I believe, Nook's Cranny. Let's see if my directions are right for once in my life. Yay! <laughs> Cute. Oh man, I absolutely love the way that Nook's Cranny looks before it gets upgraded. Just all of the wood, all of the rustic elements. I totally understand why people don't upgrade their Nook's Cranny or Blather's Tent to create the museum. Because the original areas are just so special and pretty. And we're back at resident services. So that is how everything kind of connects together, it looks like. Which is so convenient, so handy. Oh, I see, and there's even a little secret way around the school to get there too. Can I hop this way? <gasps> Whoa, sure can. Amazing, now we're back at this beautiful neighborhood, which it looks like they connect through this bridge right here, which I didn't even see this earlier, I don't believe, but it makes complete sense. Would you look at that? So beautiful. I don't even know where to, you know what, right here, the stool is calling my name. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't even know where to end this tour because it's so beautiful in so many different ways. I absolutely love the minimalism, the organization. I love the combination of nature with just very thoughtful and intentional design. What an incredible island. Please go give Boo some love. I'm gonna make sure that their Twitter and their Instagram, all that good stuff is linked in the description box. I hope y'all have an amazing one wherever you are in this big old beautiful world of ours. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.